Pink fish. Two common words that you most likely learned by the time you were five years old. In any other context, these combinations of letters would be entirely innocent. However, ours is a dark day, for the name Tankfish has been claimed by a monster who's merely masquerading as a man. In this video, we're going to pierce the facade that he puts up on the internet. We're going to dive deep into his past, tear away the veil, and reveal the dark truth behind this internet personality. If that sounds too intense for you, turn back now. Otherwise, join me in learning the dark truth about Tankfish. To understand my perspective regarding Tankfish, we need to go all the way back to January 2020. A friend of mine recommended one of his videos to me, Roblox Rise of Nations in a nutshell. I thought it was funny enough. I watched a communist sequel and didn't pay him much thought after that. Cut to November 2020. I noticed there's a lot of overlap between my audience and his, so I reached out to him through Discord to discuss a potential collaboration. This is when he was planning on making a D-Day video, and we talked about how many people I could muster. The talks went nowhere and D-Day happened without me. I don't hold any grudge over that, I know how people asking about collaborations can be. The events that followed, however, are what began my long, weary, invisible rivalry with Tankfish. Over the course of the next two years, whether through coincidence or some other force, he and I would end up making videos about the same games around the same times, starting with Bleeding Blades. I found out about Bleeding Blades and began playing on August 20th, 2021. Unbeknownst to me, because I didn't watch him, Tankfish uploaded a Bleeding Blades video the very next day. I would begin creating my own video exactly two weeks later. This one I chalk up to total coincidence. In the month preceding Tankfish's upload, there were 40 Bleeding Blades videos published with a total of 155,000 views. In the two weeks leading up to my release, there were 61 videos totaling 703,000 views, more than quadruple the former popularity. A couple months later, I started playing a little game called Trenches, and I figured other people would enjoy it as well. I began writing the script for my review on October 20th. Then I fell into procrastination for a couple weeks, as I tend to do. On November 3rd, Tankfish puts out a community post hinting that his next upload would be a World War I game. No way that could be Trenches, I thought, but I'd better finish up this video quickly just to be sure. I wrote too slowly though, and lo and behold, Tankfish premieres a video about the very game I was working on. It probably had a beneficial effect on my viewership, but it's still strange to me that he found the game around the exact same time I did. The creator, Haruna Kariki, said that Trench's player count averaged between 150 and 200 before Tankfish made his video on the subject. This game had even less YouTube engagement than Bleeding Blades before its video, so it's quite odd that both of us ended up in the right place at the right time. This event is what caused me to start paying attention to Tankfish's uploads, as well as when he began to comment on mine. In late January of the next year, I began to play Lionheart's Crusade, because a friend recommended it to me. I spent my first weeks as an independent pilgrim before finally being coaxed into joining the Kingdom of England. I completed my initiation, learned the battle system, and began fighting in turf wars. Soon enough, I got word that we were mobilizing to face a massive threat on the horizon. What could it be? A rogue crusader state? A Muslim horde? No, it was none other than Tankfish, who had inexplicably taken an interest in raiding the game. That whole invasion is a conspiracy on its own, but at least it gave us that clip of Sean stumbling upon the enemy camp. Anaconda plan. Okay, well, I have to travel across the stupid island twice, even if I'm on the island. Which I probably not, but... Whatever. Alright. Uh, let's get help. <laughs> Look at my stream. It's very scary. Look at my stream. Let me, let me watch quick, quick, stream. quick, 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 quick. Oh no! Oh, it's just... I personally formed the defensive line against the Chaos Legion's most likely point of entry into Southern Levant, and we came very close to killing Tankfish himself. Okay, now Wait, did we take our to get to Jerusalem? That's Tankfish. Oh, Jerusalem's down there. That's Tankfish. Oh, you're at him, boys. Get that fire Where? line. It came through and walked back out. So we went to Southern Levant. Uh, I'm gone, I'm gone. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into the politics of the invasion now. Just know that Tankfish showing up there took me totally by surprise. Later he'd make a Blood and Iron video, which just feels like he's encroaching on my turf even if I wasn't planning on doing anything at that moment. There are a few other times when he made a video on the same game I was working on, like Doors and Forgotten Memories, but I'll give him a pass for those, because those games were wildly popular at the time and it makes perfect sense that he'd find them. Overall, there are at least 20 different games that appear on both of our channels. Most of these can be written off because of age and popularity, others are so niche that it blows my mind, and more still have believable popularity but incredible timing.
all this might just be a crazy coincidence, right? It's all in my head. Old Skit's just gone and lost his marbles. Or, there's a rat. In fact, it doesn't have to be a rat, it could be the haggard hobo himself. I had known that Tinkfish was a member of my Discord server, but I just recently discovered that his date of joining is October 22nd, 2019. This means that he's been around longer than most members of Onyx Company. What could possibly motivate a man to go so deep into the weeds? Who in their right mind would go to such lengths as these? I'll tell you who. Feds. Let me ask you something. What do you really know about Tankfish? There's not much info about him online. His Wikitubia page only reveals that he's a Canadian YouTuber who makes heavily edited Roblox videos. And when I say heavily, I mean that his most popular video about Your Bizarre Adventure features 618 instances where the camera cuts or an image suddenly obscures the entire screen. Over the course of the 17 minute runtime, this averages out to one cut every 0.61 seconds. Why would he employ such a dazzling, fast-paced editing style? Maybe, because he's trying to hypnotize and influence his audience through subconscious cognitive manipulation. The Canadians might be authoritarian, but this doesn't smell like one of their operations. To find out where Tankfish's true allegiances lie, I ran samples of his voice through a high-tech accent geo-associator and found that he likely hails not from Canada, but somewhere in Southern Africa. What's more, the name Tankfish is an anagram for Svatni, a word only found in Botswana's language, Setswana. Now that we've tracked his allegiances to Botswana's Directorate of Intelligence and Security, we're close to unmasking the man behind the mystery. I collected every nuclear code at the end of his videos, put them all together, and ran them through a reverse image search to reveal this image. After some tweaking, this is what we get. It turns out that the man you call Tankfish is none other than Thobo Karakang, enthusiastic corporate attorney and Botswana's second most handsome man. We're on to you, Thobo. We know that your social media is run by the devious vassals of the DIS, and we know that you're trying to take over the minds of our citizens. I'm not gonna let that happen. Now that your secret's out, the world can see through your elaborate ruse. They know the monster that you truly are, and they're not under your spell any longer. Pack up and go home, while you still have the chance. Hey, editing skit here. Uh, just to clarify, <laughs> just in case you were wondering, you know, Tankfish is not Tobo whatever his name is. Alright, it's a joke. It's satire. Satirical. Do not send any hate towards either of them. I, I don't even know anything about Tobo, okay, and Tankfish really doesn't deserve it. My rivalry with Tankfish has been kind of an inside joke for a while now. I just thought it'd be funny to put it out there. I don't have anything against him personally, even if I disagree with some of his practices. I've been pretty busy from the finals at the end of last semester through the holidays, so I'm going to try to crunch out some more videos when I get time. That's all. Skit Gaming signing out. Goodbye.